If you've ever seen that classic movie, The Blair Witch Project, you'll probably realize that the woods are straight up terrifying. That movie is practically a documentary. You can never really truly feel at ease among the trees, knowing that all kinds of weird stuff is out there. From the terrifying doll to the mass graves, here's the 20 creepiest things found in the woods. <sighs> Number 20. A strange doll found in the woods. Speaking of the Blair Witch Project, it looks like this guy who visited the woods was lucky to escape with his life. But for how long? What he doesn't know is that this could be a cursed doll figure. It's pretty obvious that something is up when it's able to stand up all by itself. This is why you should never be alone in the woods. Some suggest this could be black magic, but how does that even work? Black magic, usually referred to as dark magic, has historically been used to describe the use of magic or supernatural abilities for evil, or magic connected to the devil or other malevolent spirits. Additionally, it may be referred to as the left-hand path, its right-hand path counterpart being the benevolent white magic. People who classify magic or ceremonial acts that they disapprove of as black magic in modern times, according to some, have muddled the meaning of black magic. The ceremonial ancient worship of spirits is where black magic's roots may be found, same as those of its counterpart, white magic. Numerous magical techniques and rituals were seen negatively during the Renaissance and consequently denounced as black magic in the broadest sense. The Inquisition forbade and persecuted witchcraft and other occult pursuits. Voodoo and contemporary black magic have been linked in popular culture and fiction. Hexing and cursing are common black magic techniques, but voodoo has its own unique history and customs that have little in common with contemporary witchcraft methods from European practitioners like Gerald Gardner and Aleister Crowley helped to establish. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. One evening, a guy named Robert woke up and saw his dog had gone missing. He was pretty freaked out, but he knew what the pooch was up to, so he headed into the woods to track him down. He was sure he'd find him when he heard a whimpering noise, worried that his dog might be hurt. So he approached the tree with his phone flashlight, but it turned out not to be a dog, but this terrifying creature. He managed to get this one picture before it ran away. The dog was never found, sadly. What kind of creature is this? Do you think it's a witch that stole the dog? As always, comment below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 19. Tombstones found in Union Company Woods. Following the discovery of almost a dozen headstone markers in Union County Woodlands, it's believed by local cops that a tombstone thief is at large. One Wednesday, 10 gravestones were discovered close to the wood line next to an apartment building. The Union County Sheriff's Office opened an investigation in response to the finding. Some of these grave markers date back to the 1800s, according to Sheriff Taylor. Military veterans are represented by the majority of the gravestones. Taylor mentioned that among the veterans were a World War II veteran, a few Navy vets, and a U.S. Army vet. Two toddlers and a baby are also among the other monuments. Gregory Bador, who resides next door to the location where the tombstones were discovered, claims he had no idea why or how they got there. A handful of the names on the gravestones may be from Spartansburg County, according to the Sheriff's Office investigation. But Sheriff Taylor said it's been challenging to locate relatives. The markers were either replaced or include a mistake. It was discovered over the course of the investigation. The Union County Sheriff's Office is currently looking into this until they're certain there is no illegal conduct. So who do you think is stealing tombstones and why? Number 18. Oakwood Cemetery's Strange Phenomenon. Is it a magnetic phenomenon, a gravitational anomaly, a paranormal event, or just an illusion? With its seeming capacity to defy the law of physics, this short road at Oakward Cemetery in Farmington, Michigan has entertained and bewildered residents for years. Your automobile appears to roll downhill, then reverse rolling uphill. Michigan is filled with locations where you can put your car in neutral and watch it roll upward. But when it takes place in a cemetery, that's creepy. There are many who believe it to be a supernatural phenomenon. Here's how to do it. Drive a little distance after passing through the west gate to see an old looking tree with a knot hole that resembles a big scary mouth. You'll roll back up the slope if you stop and put your car in neutral here. 
You start rolling backward at a specific point and then forward again. You could continue like this forever. Even though some people claim the east drive is effective, make sure you enter by the west gate. Otherwise, you won't be able to do the trick at all. Though, the mystery spot and mystery hill tourist attractions are based on this kind of gravity land event. This one's location in a cemetery makes it a little bit more susceptible to spooky stories, but some already think Oakwood is haunted. Number 17. Man found living under tarp in woods during homeless count. It gets pretty cold in Coon Rapids, Minnesota at certain times of the year, so the authorities conduct a homeless count to make sure no one's left in the cold. Recently, they discovered a man living in the woods just under a tarpaulin in some of the harshest weather possible. That's a tough way to live, but maybe he just wants to be left in peace. Being homeless is tough, and in the past it was even tougher. In 16th century England, the law made whipping, the stocks, branding with a V for vagrancy, and jail the punishment for homelessness. So things have improved at least a little since then. Around the world, an estimated 100 million people were homeless in 2005, and up to 1 billion people, or one in every 6.5 people, were living as refugees, squatters, or in a temporary accommodation because they lack suitable housing. The biggest factor contributing to the rise in homelessness in the United States is the lack of affordable homes. Following the American Civil War, vast numbers of homeless men participated in homohebia, a subculture that spread across the country. Hobos frequently slept out near railroad lines in smaller towns before boarding trains to other locations. According to a survey ordered by the homeless charity Crisis in 2011, the average life expectancy for a homeless person in the UK is 47 years, which is 30 years fewer than that of the general population. The average homeless individual in Western nations like the United States is male and single, with the Netherlands claiming that 80% of homeless people between the ages of 18 and 65 are men. Homelessness in Western countries has increased dramatically since the start of the pandemic lockdowns, by as much as 40% in the UK, for instance. Number 16. Rare Wild Tiger Spotted Walking in the Woods with Cubs Less than 500 Amur tigers are thought to still exist in the world, according to the experts. Cameras captured a mother Amur tiger and her two cubs, said to be between four and five months old. The largest cats in the world are Amur tigers, aka Siberian tigers. Due to their extraordinary rarity, these huge cats are regarded as an endangered species. Amur tigers are mostly located in portions of Russia and China, where they have a lifespan of 10 to 14 years. As researchers continue to keep an eye on the surviving Amur tigers, the fact that this mother and her cubs were free to wander was a crucial indication of their existence. Only 27 to 35 individuals contributed to the genetic diversity of 95 wild Siberian tiger samples from Russia, according to the results of a genetic study. The fact that more than 90% of the people that lived in the Sakote Alin mountain range only makes the situation worse. The development corridor that divides this subpopulation from the considerably smaller subpopulation in southwest Piermore province is rarely crossed by tigers. Sadly, the 2006-2007 winter was characterized by significant poaching. Tigers and their wild prey species are being poached. Number 15. A 132-year-old Winchester rifle found in National Park. A 132-year-old gun that was discovered leaning against a tree in the Nevada wilderness is the subject of a desperate search by forensic specialists and archaeologists. The .44-40 caliber Winchester rifle was discovered on a secluded rocky outcrop in the center of Ground Basin National Park, frozen in time. While doing surveys, archaeologists found the gun, which dates from 1882, lying against a juniper tree. As forensic specialists try to deduce how the rifle came to be resting against a tree, they're currently looking over ancient newspaper clippings and historical documents to try to identify the original owner. Although experts don't yet know for sure how long it's been there, it's possible the gun may have been left alone for more than a century given the condition of its wooden base, which is discolored and half submerged. The gun was found by archaeologist Eva Jensen, whose research team is now focused on unraveling the mystery. According to the Los Angeles Times, she started reading old issues of the Ward Reflex and White Pine County Record, two newspapers that chronicled the region's then thriving mining business, and digging through old bills of sale and family histories. According to the Washington Post, the Great Basin was a mining region at the time the gun was made, but farming was also prevalent there, and it's possible that the rifle was also used for game hunting. Number 14. Remains of missing hiker two years later found with a message. 
On the Appalachian Trail, a hiker who got lost wrote about her final days and begged whoever found her body to tell her family. Please call my husband George and my daughter Carrie when you locate my body. No matter how many years pass, it will be the greatest act of kindness for them to know that I'm dead and where you discovered me. Please have the kindness to ship this bag's contents to one of them. According to a 1,579 page case, Geraldine Largue scribbled the letter on a torn out notebook page on August 16, 2013, approximately two weeks after she became lost in Western Maine. Largue, 66, was reported missing, and despite extensive searches of the region, her remains weren't discovered until October 2015. After abandoning the trail to use the restroom, she became lost and managed to survive for at least 26 days until she died from malnutrition and exposure to weather, according to the authorities. She built a tent in a clearing, where she later passed away while still inside her sleeping bag. According to officials, she was only a 10-minute walk away from a dirt path that connects to a road. Largue made fruitless attempts to get to a higher elevation where she could receive cell phone service, but none of her texts were sent. One of the largest manhunts in state history was conducted to find the missing woman, and for more than two years, a variety of bizarre tips were received, including claims that Bigfoot was to blame for her disappearance, psychics who claimed to have located her, and allegations of identity theft, including her personal information. Number 13. Rare Classic Car Graveyard Hidden in a Forest here are some priceless vintage vehicles that were carelessly dumped in a wild spot. There are several reasons why someone might undertake such a thing, as well as numerous reasons why they'd leave the automobiles outside for so many years or even decades. The location's being kept a secret. The goal is to prevent vandals from robbing these abandoned vehicles or defacing what some would regard as an almost archaeological treasure by trampling all over the area. It's astonishing these vehicles aren't in worse shape given that they've all been laying outside, exposed to the weather for years or even decades. Some of them have body damage, although it's possible that it already existed when they were parked. There's no way to determine what type of weather they may have experienced because we don't know where this is. Since they're not in a desert, we'll assume that these timeless pieces have at least sat through several rainstorms. The fact that moss and mold are growing inside the automobiles that the guy opens is proof that they've received a lot of moisture. Number 12. Scientists just found an untouched rainforest on top of a mountain in Africa. Few people have ever had the pleasure of seeing the secret rainforest that's protected by a steep circle of rock on Mount Liko in northern Mozambique. Locals were aware of the mountain, but the forest was unknown until Julian Bayliss discovered it on satellite photos six years ago. But he didn't make his discoveries public until recently. Since the discovery of the rainforest, Liko has drawn attention from all over the world. The fact that it caught people's attention demonstrates how uncommon such sites are. Humans push the limits of our ecological niche as no other species can, because we're nothing if not daring. But how can conservation biologists justify visiting and making public these final refugees of untamed nature, when nearly every region of the Earth already bears the mark of human activity? The trip was the first to conduct a biological assessment of the adjacent Mount Sakone, in addition to examining Mount Liko. The gorgeous and species-rich Sakone serves as a stark reminder of the dangers facing many forests in Mozambique, Africa, and other parts of the world. Every second, a forest the size of a football field disappears from the planet, threatening the extinction of innumerable species. In addition to soil erosion, flooding during the rainy season, and water shortages during the dry season, the removal of trees from Mount mountain slopes causes these issues. Number 11. Ancient Five-Head Snake Statue Found in Shishachala Forest, Tarumala Hills The most well-known Vishnavite temple in the world belongs to one of the major Hindu sects and is located in Tirupati, an India state of Andhra Pradesh. Venkateswara is the name of the Vishnu god who rules over this place. The most widely recognized mythology relates to the development of the temple over the ages. Sri Venkatachala Mahatyam. Numerous Puranans have also made reference to this location. There's no place in the universe similar to Tirumala, and there's no other god equal to Venkatesha, in the past, present, or future, according to a proverb. 
However, when this person went exploring around the temple, he discovered this bizarre statue of a serpent with five heads. What's that about? Looks pretty scary. What does Venkatesha have to say about that? Tirumala is known as a spiritual town. It belongs to the Tirupati urban agglomeration and is one of its suburbs. The town is situated in the Tirupati Mandal of the Tirupati Revenue Division and is a component of the Tirupati Urban Development Authority. Tirumala Venkateshwara Temple is situated in the Highland Town. This community is entirely vegetarian. Number 10. German World War II Equipment Here's some guys who went looking for some old equipment from World War II and found more than they bargained for. Look at these amazing finds of German equipment still hanging around in the woods all these years later. Imagine that this was once a battlefield. With millions of casualties and a scope that's nearly unfathomable, World War II is without a doubt the largest and deadliest global war in history. Because of the speedy development of technology during this time, nations were able to employ tremendous amounts of power in the air, on land, and at sea. This period also saw significant scientific advancements. In spite of this, some soldiers continued to engage enemies on foot, close to the front lines of battle, winning by sheer will and tenacity. Following the Normandy invasion, the Allied troops moved into Belgium, with the assumption that the Nazi forces would be weaker. The situation was reversed, however, when Hitler's army launched a massive, unexpected counterattack against the Allied forces, as they marched through the harsh, chilly, and densely wooded Ardennes. The Germans were able to drive the Allied forces back many kilometers in the beginning. Their initial success was limited, though. By mid-January, further troops and the airstrikes on Christmas Day helped the Allies to retake the control of Ardennes woodland. Hitler's desperate attempt to regain the war's upper hand was ultimately defeated by the Allies. Despite this, many people believe that the Battle of Bulge, which left 19,000 Americans dead and more than 70,000 injured or missing, was the deadliest for Americans. Additionally, the Germans suffered greatly, losing more than 100,000. The Allies proceeded to move closer to Berlin after the war, finally defeating Hitler and the Nazis. Number 9. The remains of the World War II Reichsband fleet found in the woods. Near the Polish border, the rusty wreckage of the entire Reichsbahn fleet from World War II is perched atop an abandoned train station. While some of the trains were miraculously preserved in a mocha load of shed, others were left outside. The majority of these military steam trains fall under the so-called Bauraya 52 and 50, since they were produced in huge quantities during the war, in a uniform manner at several sites in Europe. More than 7,000 were constructed and in operation up to the 1980s. After World War II, Russia acquired a large number of the locomotives. Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, Norway, and Turkey were other operators of this type of train. Locomotives of this kind were given the J-33 classification in Yugoslavia. During the Second World War, about 6,700 locomotives of the DBR Class 52 type were constructed throughout Europe for duty on the Eastern Front. As a result, it was one of the most prevalent steam locomotives ever. Number 8. Forgotten Watermill Discovered Intact in the Woods Without a doubt, this is the best thing I've ever seen someone discover in the woods. What a treasure trove! The steel water wheel is a Fitz type wheel, which was fashionable from 1900 to 1920. This mill also had a roller mill set up and French burr stones running. While hard grains like wheat were ground on millstones, soft grains like corn were ground on roller mills. Additionally, the top stone was raised off the fountain stone using a wooden swinging jib or crane. To maintain the stones and keep them sharp, the miller had to sometimes sharpen them. While doing this, the miller had to keep his nose close to the grinding stone to monitor the level of the stones. That's where the idiom originated from. The water wheel and toothed gearing, two essential parts of water mills, were invented by the Greeks, who also utilized undershot, overshot, and breadshot water wheels alongside the Romans. The Greek engineer Philo of Byzantium's technical treaties provide the first documentation of a water-driven reel. Number 7. Giant Wood Moth Found in Australia after a photo of the big bug was shared on a Facebook group for insects enthusiasts, many on social media were shocked to learn about the enormous moth that a family discovered while out on a bushwalk. The large bug was perched on a tree when the family came upon it while strolling through Camp Mountain in northeastern Brisbane. This moth, which was spotted climbing a branch, was larger than a grown man's closed hand. One bug aficionado said, Wow, this is epic. 
Another said, how beautiful. While many questioned how rare the bug is, it's thought that the photograph shows the giant wood moth, which is frequently seen around Queensland's coast, particularly in Brisbane. These moths may grow to a length of 15 centimeters and have wingspans up to 25 centimeters. They have a black mark on their thorax and are gray in color. These moths fold their wings to the sides of their body during the day to blend in with the tree trunks and branches. The biggest moth in the world, they're often seen in the summer and weigh up to 30 grams. Although giant wood moths have been discovered all around Australia, the east coast is where they're most frequently found. Number 6. Siren Head Spotted in Creepy Forest Trevor Henderson invented the fictitious creature known as Siren Head. It's a tall, emaciated humanoid with two symbolic sirens in place of its head, which may produce a variety of sounds, both man-made and natural, such as sirens, radio broadcasts, white noises, and human voices. As an ambush predator, it constantly stays hidden and occasionally imitates the sounds of its previous victims to entice any possible prey to get closer. The monster, which also appears in Trevor Henderson's found footage style artwork alongside the cartoon cat, bridge worm, long horse, cartoon dog, and others, has inspired several video games, the most well-known of which is a brief horror title created by Modus Interactive, independently with Henderson's permission. A number of well-known gaming YouTubers and broadcasters, including PewDiePie, Markiplier, and Jacksepticeye, debuted the game in 2020 after it was developed in 2018 for a PlayStation-themed game jam. Whispering Hills, a well-like Fallout 4 mod, also contains Siren Head. And now it seems... Siren Head has escaped the game and is running loose in a forest somewhere. Number 5. An Antique Truck Here we see a team removing a 35-year-old REO truck from a parking lot. They had to jack it up, put wheels on it, move it to the street on three excavators, and load it into a trailer, among other things. What a payoff though. Now they have an awesome vintage truck made by REO. Between 1905 and 1975, the Lansing, Michigan-based REO Motor Car Company manufactured cars and trucks. The business once produced buses as well. Entrepreneur Ransom E. Olds established many businesses in the car sector. Olds founded Oldsmobile in 1897. Olds resigned from Oldsmobile in 1905 and founded the REO Motor Car Company in Lansing, Michigan. Number 4. A 12,000-year-old mountain-sized statue found in Africa. It doesn't take much searching to find her. She is enormous. The genuinely amazing Lady of Mali is a prehistoric huge sculpture that guards a mountain's nearly unreachable top in Guinea, West Africa. The monument, which stands 1,500 meters above sea level, may be seen in its entirety from a significant distance away. The Lady of Mali manifests as an unmistakable, enormous female statue with a crown-like head that was carved into a massive granite wall that given that it faces the Atlantic, may have formerly been a rocky lake or sea beach. The sculpture's whole height is around 150 meters, with the head standing at about 25 meters. Geologists think that a very long time ago, wind erosion sculpted this lovely woman's form into the rock. As tradition holds that the Lady of Mali betrayed her husband on a holy Friday, and God punished her by turning her into a statue. Number 3. The Short-Eared Dog the short-eared dog, one of the most elusive creatures in the Amazon rainforest, has been seen on camera in a rare moment. These jungle dogs are about the size of a fox and extremely elusive. In actuality, sightings of a jaguar are much more likely to occur in the Amazon than those of a wild short-eared dog. Due to their ability to transfer illnesses like canine distemper and rabies to wild population, feral dogs are a serious danger to the short-eared dog population. The loss of habitat causes the short-eared dog great suffering. Formerly secluded woods in South America are now heavily disturbed, and there's virtually no habitat left for them. Humans also contribute to the extinction of the species by destroying their natural habitat and tropical rainforests in general. This species has certain distinctive traits that set it apart from other canids. In this species, females are around one-third bigger than males. The males spray musk from his tail glands when they're in the mood for love. Otherwise, it favors a solitary existence in wooded regions. Number 2. Humpback Whale Discovered in the Amazon Jungle Baffles Scientists Researchers are perplexed by a dead humpback whale that was discovered in Brazil's Amazon jungle, close to the entrance of the Amazon River. 
The whale was discovered around 15 meters off a Rarunda Beach shoreline in Saur, Brazil's Maharo Bay. According to region officials, seeing a whale in the area of that time of year is rather unusual. The 10-ton whale was 8 meters long, according to the Brazilian non-profit environmentalist organization Bicho da Agua. Local authorities, however, said it was a little bigger, estimating its length to be 11 meters. The Municipal Secretariat of Health, Sanitation and Environment in the area said that the corpse didn't seem to have any obvious wounds. The two most likely explanations for how the whale got caught into the thicket are either the whale was propelled on shore by a strong tide, or it was dragged onto land by people after it drowned at sea. How do you think this whale ended up in a rainforest? Number 1. Yamamoto's Plane Wreck For the first time in more than five years, the World War II crash site of a military aircraft carrying Japanese Admiral Isokuru Yamamoto, who planned the 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor, has been made accessible to tourists in Bougainville. Yamamoto's aircraft, a Mitsubishi GM-4 Betty, was shot down by Allied forces in 1943 sending it down into the dense Bougainville area of Papua New Guinea. Due to a land dispute between competing tribes, the access to the site in Kokopo Village in the region's Buin district had been restricted. However, the region has just been reopened, and local tour operators are hopeful that the 70th anniversary of the end of the Pacific War will bring in more tourists from abroad. And what an amazing piece of history it is. How about those creepy woods discoveries? Were you scared? Do you live near some creepy woods? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.